Hey everybody, this is Jeff Wilson from TotalBodyRunning.com. Thank you for checking out this video. Today we are going to be doing a uh, goblet squat or a uh, just a light, light front squat, if you will. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please hit that subscribe button. And after the video is over, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. And I uh, appreciate the support. So, why, uh, just in general, why would we want to do this type of movement for a runner? Well, uh, the squat in general is a compound movement, and I will be uh, shooting a video in the future about doing an actual barbell back squat, as that's where we're going to be getting you know, the, the most weight. Um, we can mimic things in other ways, leg press, uh, the hex bar, trap bar, deadlift. Uh, we, can easily, uh, we can easily get a lot of power in other ways. But the uh, back squat is where you're going to be looking most weight. Um, you can only carry so much weight in front of you. But um, we want to get our main movers, our butt, our hamstrings, our quads. Um, we get, got to get some power through our feet, uh, through our ankle dorsiflexion and plantar flexion. We need to be able to do that and we can get that through squats. One of the biggest things that uh, runners often forget is, you know, it's not just about running. The number one way to get better at running is to run more in most cases. You know, yes, hills are great, all those things, but it's not the only type of strength you need. Um, at some point, you're going to have some limiting factors, and strength can help you get there. The squat is one of the best movements you could do, arguably the best. It lays the foundation for lunges, it lays a good foundation for single leg squats, it lays the foundation for step ups, other single leg movements that will ultimately create some more power on one leg. Yes, we're always going to be in a split leg position, so we're not going to we're not going to off, we're, we're not going to be in this position ever when we're running. But it allows us to put a lot of strength in the areas that need it, allowing your left and right side to, to ideally work together and not compensate. Um, so, without further ado, with the goblet squat, there's a couple ways that we can do this. Today I'm choosing to do a kettlebell. There's a number of ways that you can do this. You can just hold a dumbbell in the same position. But we're literally just squatting down like so. I'm keeping my chest up. My knees are coming out. My butt's getting low, right around that 90 degrees, maybe even a little bit below. Uh, below parallel, if you will, or below 90 degrees, allowing us to get those hamstrings involved. On the back, getting those glutes more powerful, getting those quads a little bit, and getting some stronger uh, push through our ankle uh, range of motion. And we're also, because the, the, uh, the kettlebell or the weights in front of us, we're, we're having to stabilize uh, with our abdominals. We're having to work a little bit harder in that specific area. That's why front squats with the barbell is a big reason why that's harder than a back squat where the barbell is on, on your back of your shoulders. So there you have it, nothing too complicated with it. Um, definitely start with some body weight movements. You can literally do the same thing um, where you are just taking hands out, hands could be here, you can do whatever you want there, and you're literally just trying to work on that same range of motion. Knees are still coming out over the ankles so that you're getting your hips involved, and there you go. All right, so everybody, thanks for watching. Uh, this is a very quick and short video. Uh, look for any uh, any other details below. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so. And uh, look out for some more videos in the future on lunging and step ups and even some single leg squats to help um, lay some some more bricks to be, to lay a bigger foundation to make you a better runner. So have a great day and uh, see you see you around soon.